Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Pulse. In this video, we will be talking about factoring polynomials. Factoring polynomials by GCF. Factoring polynomials by using the reverse foil. Or by factoring polynomials by using the difference of, of squares. To start, factors are terms or expressions that are multiplied together to produce a more complex expression. You can simplify many complex expressions by dividing them into their factors. This process is called factoring. Not every polynomial can be factored, but when it can, factoring can be used to simplify complex expressions, and even solve some equations. Let's start with factoring using the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor, or GCF, between two terms is the largest factor that both terms share. To understand this better, consider the terms x cubed plus 4x squared. Then you can rewrite these terms showing all of their factors. Okay, for x squared, the factors are 2 times 2 times x times x. And x cubed, the factors are x times x times x. Now, as you look at these rewritten terms, you can see that they each share x as a factor. However, they also each share two x's or x times x, which is equals to x squared as a factor. Because this is the largest term that both of them share, the GCF is x squared. Now, using this knowledge, you can factor the you can factor the expression x cubed plus 4x squared and rewrite it as x squared times 4 plus x. So the factors of the expressions are x squared and 4 plus x. In a way, Factoring using the GCF is, is like uh, undoing distributive property problem. Let's try another example. Factor the polynomial 9x squared minus 3x. First, find the shared factors. So the, shape, the shared factors are, for 9x squared, it's 3x times 3x and negative 3x is negative 1 times 3x. So both of them share 3x as, uh, as a factor. And then rewrite using the GCF, we have 3x times 3x minus 1. Now once you have rewritten the polynomial with the GCF, you have completely factored the expression, and this is your final answer. Another example, factor the polynomial 8x cubed plus 4x minus x to the fourth power. Find the shared factors. We have uh, 8x cubed we have, is equals to x times 8x squared. 4x is equal to x times 4. And negative x to the fourth power is equal to x times negative x cubed. And then, rewriting the, using the GCF, we have x times 8x squared plus 4x minus x cubed. Note that you can always check your answer by distributing. 
if you did the problem correctly, distributing the GCF should give you the same polynomial you started with. Let's have another example. Factor the polynomial 15x to the fourth power minus 10x squared. Let's find the shared factors between 15 and 10, 5, 5x, and between x squared and x to the fourth power, we have x squared. So we have 5x squared times 3x squared for 15x to the fourth power. And for negative 10x squared, we have 5x squared times negative 2. And then rewriting them using the GCF, 5x squared, we have 5x squared times 3x squared minus 2. Again, you can check it, you can check your answer by distributing the GCF or the greatest common factor to each of the term inside the parentheses. And now let's proceed to factoring by reversing FOIL. Many polynomials that are made up of an x squared term, an x term, and a numbered term can be factored into two binomials by undoing the steps of FOIL. Let's observe the steps using this example. x squared plus 2x minus 15. Okay, step one, find all the pairs of factors for the number term. The number term is negative 15. Okay. So in this case, the number term, which is negative 15, have many pairs of numbers that when multiplied together, make 15. They are negative 1 times 15, 1 and negative 15, negative 3 and 5, and 3 and negative 5. Step 2. Pick up the pair of factors that add up to the coefficient of the x term. We are talking about the middle term, which is 2x. So which one of the factors add up to 2? So by checking each pair of factors, the pair that adds up to 2 is negative 3 and 5. Because negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Step 3. Use this factor to factor the polynomial into two binomials. These type of polynomials will always factor into x plus or minus some number and x plus or minus another number. So the numbers used are those from step 2. For this polynomial, those numbers are negative 3 and 5. So the factored form is x minus 3 times x plus 5. Let's try another example. Factor x squared minus 6x minus 7. Step 1. The pairs of factors for negative 7 are negative 7 and 1 and 7 and negative 1. Step 2, check the pair of factors that add up to negative 6. And uh, the factors that add up to negative 6 is negative 7 and 1. Step 3, uh, use the factors in step 2 to factor to write uh, the factored form, which is x minus 7 times x plus 1. Okay, another example. Factor x squared plus 9x plus 20. Step 1, the pairs of factors for 20 is or are 20 times 1, 2 times 10, and 4 times 5. And then step 2, the pair of factors that add up to 9 are 4 times 5 because 4 plus 5 is 9. Then step 3, the factor form is therefore x plus 4, x plus 5. Okay, another example, factor x squared minus 6x plus 8. 
Step one, because the x term is negative and the number term is positive, look for the negative factors to make positive a. So it should be uh, the factors of 8 should be both negative. So we have negative 1 and negative 8 and negative 2 and negative 4. Step 2, the pair of factors that add up to negative 6 are negative 2 and negative 4. Step 3, the factored form is x minus 2 times x minus 4 based on the factors found in step 2. Now, let's proceed to difference of, of squares. Any polynomial that is the difference between x squared in a perfect square can be factored into two binomials. The two binomials are written in the same way as when you were reversing FOIL, except this time the numbers are, posit are the positive and the negative square roots of the perfect square. Let's try some example. First, factor x squared minus 25. Now, 25 is equal to 5 times 5 or 5 squared. Therefore, the, poly the polynomial can be factored into x plus 5 and x minus 5. Another example is factor x squared minus 16. So x squared minus 16 is equal to x plus 4 and x minus 4 because the square root of 16 is plus 4 and negative 4. It is also important to note that this technique, the difference of squares, will only work with the difference of squares, but it will not work with the sum of squares. So if you have, for example, um, x squared plus 25, it's not x squared minus 25, that cannot be factored this way. Or x squared plus 16, that cannot be factored like this. So that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, or you did not understand part of the presentation, you can comment below. If you want to know more about Phuket Pulse, you can visit www.phuketpulse.org or you can contact us through our Facebook, Phuket Pulse, or call us on 081-417-0978.